Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Unity operator. It's a functional interface. So let's search this interface by pressing Ctrl Shift T uh, from JDK. Then you will have to, you will have to type. unary operator and this is the functional interface uh, I was talking about now this uh, interface is available in the package java.util.function interface and basically this unary operator is a java 8 functional interface that extends a function interface right so again function interface is also a functional interface which is having a one abstract method is called apply now uh, if you can see unary operator extends functional interface so this interface does not have any abstract method so I mean one of the abstract method which is available in the functional interface get, getting inherited by this unary operator right so unary operator is used to work on the single operand it returns the same type as an operand so you can see there is nothing as a return type over here right so so you supply the input and you get the same return type right so that's the significance of unary operator unary operator can be used as a lambda expression to pass an as an argument right because unary operator is a again functional interface so of course you can define behavior of uh, unary operator method as a lambda expressions right uh, we need to define function dot apply uh, method where function will be uh, the instance of unary operator right so this method does not have its own method right own, own abstract method this is get uh, this uh, interface uh, inherited a uh, uh, abstract method from the function interface so overall you need to define a apply method right so let's try to understand these things through an example so here I have created a class with unary operator demo and this class contains a main method so here uh, I'm going to create a list of integer so I would say arrays dot as list and here I'm going to pass integer like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, something like this. And return type of this I'm going to store in this local variable is called list. Okay. Now I'm going to use unary operator over here. So unary operator so this is the operator I was talking about so here operand would be the integer itself and I would give the name as unary opt and that I'm going to define uh, as a lambda expression so I would say I lambda expression i into i right so this unary operator has a only one operand and i'm trying to uh, retrieve each elements from this list and multiply by itself so that's the that's why i want to use unary operator right now let's create a one method over here or you can say directly you can do unary operator function something like this unary operator function and here I'm going to pass parameter as unary operator which already we have defined and I'm going to define uh, I'm going to pass a list as well okay and I will apply finally 
so let's first define this guy so create this method over here and here we can write code like we can create a list empty list list of integer say unilist equal to new array list okay and list which I'm getting the getting from the client so list dot you can see for each loop right so here you need to pass the consumer object right so let's say i just i'm going to write a lambda expression so you need list dot add and here i'm getting the reference of this functional interface so here i can dot and we can call the apply method right which is getting inherited from the function interface right and we can pass this i right so now uh, we can change return type of this method as a list of integer right so here this will return your list so you can apply for each loop over here as well right so let's apply for each of you for each and for each always takes the consumer object right and that is nothing but the lambda expression itself so it's x and i would like to print all those numbers right so x itself So this has to return value as well, right? So this code is so simple, right? So here I have taken a list of integer. Now I have defined unary operator, right? So every element I want to multiply by itself. So that's why I have written unary operator here. I have created a static method, and there I am passing unary operator, which I have defined as a lambda expression over here, and we have a list of integer. These two parameters I am passing and this method is getting called here i have created an empty list and what i'm trying to do so caller is sending the list of integer right so i'm just retrieving every elements and just calling the apply method uh, of unary operator when i say apply method of unary operator so this method is getting inherited from the functional interface as i have shown you and this lambda expression is getting applied for every element and after applying the lambda expressions uh, i'm just adding every integer in this unilist right which is which we have declared over here and this unilist is getting returned to the caller right so if i run it then you'll get the square of every number right so a square of 2 is 4 a square of 4 is 16 square of 6 is 36 a square of 8 is 64 and a square of 10 is 100 right so this is one of the small demonstration on the how we can make use of the unary operator but here instead of applying the int uh, i mean integer you can have a, any kind of custom object as well so here my intention was uh, my intention was is to show you how we can make use of a unary operator this is the one of the important functional interface so i hope you enjoyed learning this video and this code uh, I'm going to upload on the uh, GitHub, and you can find the link of GitLab, uh, GitHub on the below to the video description itself. So thanks for watching this video, and see you in the next video.